Hello friends and welcome back. And today I get to do my first video with Jeremy. How's it going, man? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Right on. We had a great opportunity last week to do some tone wood comparisons because a lot of times it's really hard to find identical guitars that will only have one component difference so you can really do a good comparison. And last week we were kind of lucky, weren't we, Jeremy? Yeah, we were lucky. We had three of the same guitar, Taylor 214 CEs, and three different options of tone woods. We had a rosewood, oven call, and black limba. We've already had a chance to take a listen to them here and made some notes about what we thought when we heard the, yeah. the recording playback. Any feelings that you had from a player's perspective that were different than what we heard on the recording? From a player's perspective, I feel, I mean, they all, of course, easily to play, um, incredible guitars. Um, you definitely can tell the difference in tone. And I think it's important to, to point out that everyone's going to have their own opinion of what sounds great. For me, we're, Larry and I were talking, I mean, I feel like I've always leaned towards Rosewood. I love it. It's just a really well-rounded sound. Got a nice little shimmer to it. Um, great for finger style, which is my main style of playing. And... Um, but that's not for everyone else. And I think it's important to, to make sure that you try out all three, see what you like. I mean, you know, see what kind of hits you right there whenever you're, uh, when you're playing it, because that's what really matters. Yeah, exactly right. And if anyone ever has the idea that tone woods don't make that much difference, I think this will show you that it makes a big difference. It really does, it really it does. It was kind of surprising. Yeah, and yeah, even with the, with the uh, Taylor's layered back and sides on this on this series. It's a there's a huge difference. I mean, it's it, it really surprised me. Just to talk really quickly, we w we wanted to do you know be consistent in the recording that we let you all hear. Uh, we were using a pair of Rode NT5 mics. I had them in an XY configuration. They were 12 inches away from the top of the guitar, with one mic pointing at the 16th fret and the other pointed at the bridge so we were trying to get a good representation of the entire you know body of the guitar anyway why don't we let them take a listen to what we just did and they can make their own opinion then we'll come back and talk about it yeah absolutely make sure you leave in the comments what you think of, of uh, each one
All right, y'all, got to take a listen to the same thing that we did. And I hope you do put your comments down the bottom because it's always interesting to see different people's takes on the qualities of these tone woods and what they add to the sound. But uh, after we listened together, Jeremy, since that was the first time that you got to hear what the microphone mm -hmm. was hearing, yeah. any, anything that stood out that you didn't necessarily hear from the player's perspective? It, pretty much confirmed my opinions of uh, one of, what one of my favorite tone woods are. You know, of course, the, the rosewood, like I said, I've always leaned towards that. Um, I haven't had the chance of playing too many of the black limbs. I did enjoy playing it. Like, it'd be a great guitar for recording or with a full band. Yeah, uh, I think so. It, well. it, I, I really think it would stand out in that, in that uh, situation. Um, the uh, oven call, people say oven call is kind of similar to rosewood. And uh, I can see that, but I can still, just from playing one next to the other, it, it, there's a huge difference. Cool. I know you like that rich, round texture mm -hmm. when you're playing finger style. Yeah. Um, the oven coal didn't have that depth on the low end, nope. but every detail. Yeah. And that's why I'd mention with you, if I was doing a finger stylist, mm -hmm not solo where he had to cut through other players. Yeah, absolutely. It, that had a really nice recorded sound for Absolutely, it would work perfect. That's why they make so many tone woods, mm -hmm. because there's, there's one out there for everybody, and there's yeah. probably one that's exactly the sound that you're looking for. Well, this was a lot of fun. We don't, like I say, we don't get the opportunity to do many comparisons like this, because you know, you'll get guitars in that have you know, different woods, but there'll always be, also be something else different about them. Right. And on these, we had the same bracing, same ebony fretboards on all of them. And yeah, it's just a, a great comparison. I'm glad we got a chance to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Learned a lot. So. Same here. <laughs> and, you know, we're always trying to learn here. And one thing you can count on when you call more guitars or come visit us at More Music in Evansville, Indiana, every person you deal with is going to be a musician. People who are out there performing who know these instruments we're selling here, and we're gonna give you the straight scoop on it. Um, everybody's got their own opinion, and obviously we've got ours too, but uh, we will give you all the info we have and tell you what we think about the instruments that you ask about. So if you got any questions at all, give the guys here at More Guitars a call or chat with them online. Come visit us in Evansville, Indiana, and of course, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, you know, all the social media stuff. And uh, again, Jeremy, it was great doing a video. It was great you. doing, yeah. And if you guys can think of any other comparisons you would like to force to try out, you know, there again, leave, a, leave us a message in the comments or just, you know, just let us know. And we'd be happy to. For sure. 
Well, thank you all for watching, and you all stay safe and have a great day.